Okay, in today's video, I am going to focus on the settings a little bit more and we will do a little weld on some quarter inch thick steel. Now currently I have it set for quarter inch, which is 140 amps at 19.1 volts, which is pretty darn close to where I would have it set for my Millermatic 200. What I have noticed with this machine is if I want to go to weld 3 8 on the Millermatic, I would be somewhere around 20 volts and 195 amps. But if I go to 195 amps on this machine, and that's with the 3 0 wire, I'm at 21. 6 volts which is hotter than I would like to weld. In fact, if I try to do this, I will get cratering uh, or erosion on each side of the weld which will make for a very weak weld. It's just a little bit too hot for my taste. So, what I end up having to do is go to the selection menu up here. I go until I get to where it is flashing voltage and in this particular case I will go to a negative one which will have me at 195 and 20 volts which is exactly where I would be with the Millermatic. But now let's say we want to go back to the quarter inch steel. Well, in order to get back to 140 amps, where I would normally like to be, now I'm really too low in voltage at 17.5. So then I have to go back to the menu here, and I will take it up to the 3, positive 3, and it should have us pretty close. So we're at 19.1. 19 is where the Miller would have been, but this is close enough. And if I try to go to down to 19, it takes me 135 on the amps, which I think is a little bit cold. I've actually found this works pretty good in this area right here. So either 139, 140, it doesn't seem to change the voltage too terribly much. If I want to weld 5 16 inch steel, then I've got to go and change that. Let's go up. I mean, so we're going to go up. To, and normally on 516s, I would be around 167, 168 amps, and it would be 19.5. Um, this is showing 17.7, which again is a little bit on the hot order. So I end up going back over to here, and if I remember correctly, I go to zero, somewhere in about there. And that should have me pretty close to where I need to be, 168 at 19.5. Then we're going to go back to quarter inch. So we're going back down to 140, and lo and behold, we're wrong again. So well, then you got to go back over here and go back up to the 3, which should have you at 140 and 19.1. If you're going to weld eight, these are the most common thickness of metals I work with. So three sixteens would be another one. Normally, I would be somewhere around 120 amps or 240 inches a minute on the wire, and I'd want to be around 18 volts. So if I go to 120 amps, I am at 18.6. I could probably get by with this. This would be just a little bit on hot order, but if I find that if I just simply go over here and drop that down to 2, I will be really, really close to where I want to be. Uh, I could possibly go down a little bit more, drop it another to 1. Let's see where we are. And 17.8. Now we're kind of in that little bit cold, so I have found that for me, I'll just take it to 2. I'm a little bit hotter at 18.2 at 120. And then if I want to go to 8, which is on a Miller, would still be like 18 volts, but 110 amps or 220 inches a minute. So if I go to 110, it has me 
really pretty doggone close. I could actually, and I have welded with this, this works pretty well. So that is something to think about when you're using this welder is that it is not exact with with other brands. I, I don't know, again, we don't know what their uh, insurgic settings are. Uh, in today's case, I'm going to weld uh, the uh, uh, quarter inch, which would normally for me would be uh, 19 and 140. Again, this is so close I could possibly get by with this. But I've, again, I've found that if I will just make a slight change in here, take that up to three, and I am set where I want to be. And then on the inductance, I've got it zero. I kind of like around three, four, um, in that area. Um, I know that with the uh, Harbor Freight Welder, they're telling you to do between five and 10, but I think inductance is one of those things that seems to be more geared towards your style of welding and that kind of thing. So for me, this works real well. I've got it set up for a quarter. I'm gonna get things set up here and I'll switch the camera around and try to set up a welding helmet so I don't burn up my camera. Don't know if that'll burn it up or not, but I don't wanna take a chance. So I'll be back in just a second. 